do you know what I love? I love it when people share with me their tools. They go behind the scenes and they show me everything that they're using. And when they do that, I usually pick up one, two, three, ten new tools that I couldn't live without. Well, on today's minicast, that is exactly what we're talking about. Episode 128 starts right now. Welcome to the Laura Shipman Show minicast, a special edition of my podcast where it's just you, me, my mic, your earphones, plus quick tips and hacks you can implement immediately to improve your life and your business. Are you ready to get started? I know I am. Let's dive in. Okay, everybody, let's dive right into my tools, my most favorite tools that I use to run my business on a daily basis. Now, all of these tools I'm going to share with you today are super affordable, and they're ones that I use every single day. Like They're my go-to sources, and I always look for the affordable option because I believe running a business shouldn't cost you an arm, a leg, and a pancreas to get stuff done. Am I right? Okay, so let's dive in. The first one I'm going to share with you is one you've probably already heard of, and that is is Canva. For those of you who are not familiar with Canva, you spell it C-A-N-V as in Victor, A.com. Now it is a web-based program, but they also have a mobile app as well. I tend to prefer the web-based one and their free version is actually pretty good. But if you spend a lot of time creating graphics for social media, maybe your blog, maybe your podcast, your Pinterest account, whatever it is you create, flyers even, business cards, all of those things, you may want to upgrade to their paid version. And I believe, if my memory serves me right, I, you know, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's only $10 a month, and I think they give you a little bit of a discount if you pay for the full year in advance. It's super affordable and well worth it because not only do you get these pre-formated pre-formatted templates, but you also have access to thousands, if not millions of stock photos. And that's really important because those stock photos are safe. And what I mean by safe is that you're not going to get copyright infringement lawsuits slapped against you for using these images. And the other thing that's kind of cool is if you do not upgrade to the paid Canva version, if you see images that you want to purchase, all the images are a dollar each. So you just, they're only a dollar. It costs you a dollar to purchase the images. So I would really consider Canva and I would, like I said, I would really go ahead and do the upgrade for that program. Tool number two is one I don't use often, but I use it when clients send me pictures for their social media accounts and for pictures that I might take on my phone that didn't turn out so great. And that's Lightroom. I really like it just for the sheer fact it brightens up images really well and it makes them look crisp and clean. And you know that you get those yellow tinges and things like that when you take pictures inside and you don't have a bright light shining on the subject of the photo. I find that Lightroom really helps me a lot. So it is my go-to photo editing app. Okay. The third tool that I want to introduce you to, and you may not have heard of this one before, but it's the scheduler I use for my social media. And this one is called Cinch Share, and it's C-I-N-C-H-S-H-A-R-E. Again, another affordable web-based program that you can use to schedule out your social media. Now, I've tried all sorts of different types of schedulers. I really like this one for a couple of reasons. It's very simplistic to use and it's intuitive. So like, even if you've never had training on CentShare or anything like that, once you get into their program, you'll easily figure it out. And the way they've set this up, if they've created a way where it minimizes the number of clicks that you need to use in order to publish and schedule your content, which I find amazing. Now, I will tell you, I am an affiliate for CinchShare. So I will leave a link for you in the show notes section. And the reason why you want to check out this link is because it gives you a 45-day free trial. I mean, that's a long trial. A lot of places only give you 30 days, but they let you get in there and really dive in, get to know the program and how it works. And the other cool thing is if you do a lot from your phone, I love their mobile app for this program. It is amazing. It's so easy to use. So CentShare is, oh, one more thing about CentShare I forgot to mention is every Tuesday night, they they go live in their Facebook group and they, they do Q&A sessions, they train you on stuff. But again, it's really intuitive and you'll be able to figure it out quickly. So check out CentShare. The next tool I am not an affiliate for, 
This one is called Easy Invoice, and this is my go-to invoice source, and it has been for probably the last five years, if not more. I love it because, again, very affordable, and the second thing is it's very simplistic to use, and I can generate all sorts of reports that I need about my business, you know, aging invoices, things like that, all the things that you need to do with um, invoices. I really love this. I will put a link for you in the um, in the show notes so you can go ahead and access Easy Invoice and check it out for yourself. Okay, tool number five that I love is Adobe Spark Post. I love this app for animating still pictures. And how do I do that? I usually just use the feature of having text fly in and out of an image. Super easy to do. It's a lot of fun to play with. And also they have a great stock photography section as well. So if you don't have the right photos, you know what? Adobe Spark Post probably has it. So go check it out. It is a mobile device app and go ahead, download it, try it out. Tool number six I love is iMovie. This is my go-to video app for IGTV or YouTube videos. It's super easy to blend clips, add transitions, and make it look like you're a videographer, somebody who knows what they're doing with video. And the other cool thing is I love to include music on my videos. And not many people know this, but you can actually go to YouTube and grab free stock music from YouTube to import into any videos you're creating for your business. Okay, tool number seven is MailChimp. This is such a great little program to use for email management. It has a fairly robust free program that allows you to send email campaigns, sequences, build landing pages, and the list goes on. It's just a great little app to use instead of using just your regular email to stay in touch with your list. And we all need to be doing lists. And the thing that I love about MailChimp is the landing page capability that they give you so that it makes it easy for you to use lead magnets and give away free information to those people you're trying to attract. The next tool that I absolutely love is Trello. And now it took me a while to get on board with Trello, but now I use it for everything because I'm one of those people, I always have my phone with me and ideas come to me at the strangest times. And so I used to be one of those person who would just like write down ideas. I'd have sticky notes everywhere with Trello because I have both a mobile um, version and the laptop version. I am able to pop those ideas into different um, boards no matter where I am. So I never I never lose an idea because they're always with me. So I really recommend downloading Trello. And just at first I just use it for a to-do list, but then it became like a brainstorming thing with all sorts of categories. So for example, I have my 2020 business plan on it. That's one board. Another board I have is for blog ideas. Another board I have is for eBooks that I'm going to write those ideas. I also have IGTV topics there. I have podcast ideas there, lead magnet ideas there. So each one is a different board. Also, I always talk to my friends and they always tell me the next coolest thing to watch on Netflix. I even have a board for Netflix of all the shows that I want to go ahead and check out. So at first I didn't really know how I would use Trello and it seemed a little frivolous to me, but when I got into it and figured out how I could create all these basically lists of things to do or, you know, things I didn't want to forget, that's where I put them. Okay, two more apps for you to check out. And these aren't business apps. They're more lifestyle apps that I just kind of find fun to use. The first one is called Zero, just like the number zero. And basically what it is, it's a little tracker for intermittent fasting. So you can like start a fast and end a fast and it'll tell you how many hours it's been since your last fast, how many days it's been since your last fast, things like that. So I really enjoy that. And then the other one I like to use, actually there's two. There's one called Run Keeper, which I use. For those of you who don't know, I'm an avid walker. Um, I walk about five miles a day. And then on the weekends, I go anywhere between eight to 10 miles a day. And it links with my fitness pal, which helps you track calories, macros, all of those fun things. So I love the, the fact that Run Keeper and my fitness pal 
link together, I can track my nutrition there. So those are my fun apps that I use, the ones that I go to every day. There are some other ones like, and we all know them, like PayPal, Venmo, or um, Eventbrite, things like that. Calendly is another. But I wanted to give you some that maybe you could start using today to help make your business or your time more productive. Okay, my friends, that's it for today's mini cast. I hope you enjoyed the topic. If you want to know more tools and more apps that I use in my business, let me know about it. Just leave me a comment in the section provided, and I'd be happy to record another episode that goes maybe a little bit deeper and shares with you some maybe apps and and tools that you've never heard of before. I would love to know if that's what you want to hear. Okay. Until next time, my friends stay social. Hey, before you go, I have a question for you. Are you loving the show? Let me know about it. Take a screenshot of the episode you are listening to and drop it in your social media posts or stories or better yet, give this show a review on iTunes or your favorite podcast app, letting me know that you listened in. If you have a topic or show idea, please don't be shy. I want to hear from you. Send me an email or a DM. I would love to hear your suggestions. All the links are in the show notes. Anyways, I just wanted to say thank you as always for tuning into the show today and every day you listen in.